Anybody who has followed CSGO in the past three years must know that Zaivu is an absolute beast. He won the HLTV Best Player of the Year two times in a row in 2019 and 2020. Zaivu is pretty much a machine, his highlight clips do not seem that flashy, but he's always hitting those headshots like in this pistol run versus Navi. This calm kind of playstyle with some microaggressions is very good for players like him who can obviously consistently hit that headshot. And the playstyle obviously fits the AWP like a glove. He plays in a way worse team than and simple, but they made some changes, so let's see what they can bring out from Zaivu this year. Zaivu has used the Zawi S2, the Extra Fire M4, and also the Vaxi NP01. All of those are great, and I know that he has used the Extra Fire M4 and the Zawi S2 for quite a while. Last year he did move on to Vaxi Mice, and he used the NP01 for quite a while, and then moved on to the Outset AX. So let's start analyzing his setup with the mouse, and the Outset is a medium to large sized mouse that's not quite lightweight at 80 grams. It's possibly the best asymmetrical mouse out at the moment, the shape is very good, the clicks are very good, the performance is overall very very good. The main thing about the shape is that it feels quite bulky in your hand because it's so high profile and wide. But because it is quite short, it does not feel too large in my 19x 10cm hands. It's one of my favorite ergos for sure and the only ones that can match to this in terms of the shape are the Zawi EC2 and the Extra Fire M4. If you look at the way Zaibu grips the outset AX, it seems to be a tilt kind of palm grip. You can see that he's wrist is tilted from the base a little bit and that's what Outset AX is very comfortable for. His thumb is pretty much on the side buttons and the rest of his fingers are far up front. He seems to have some contact with his pinky and the mouse pad so that is where he gets some extra strapping power from. And his wrist seems to be in a slight angle so his palm is not touching the mouse pad. Otherwise this is fairly standard for CSGO pros, we often see this kind of palm claw grip style. Zaivu is using the yellow custom Outset AX and previously those were not available but Vaxi seems to have decided to sell these as well. So if you want one, you should be able to get one soon. In my opinion, the Outset AX is very good for any kind of aiming, so it's very good for tracking, precision, flick shots and whatever. The only issue that I have with it is that initially I always struggle with close range fast paced fights. But I usually can get used to those in a matter of weeks. But let's move on to the mouse pad and that's actually the Corsair MM350. It has the Vitality artwork and in my opinion this mousepad actually looks very good. It is simplistic and elegant in a way and I kinda like these kinda designs on my setup. The size of the pad is decent and it does have stitched edges but these are way worse than an artisan and little gaming gear for example. I don't get any skin irritation myself but I always game with a long sleeve shirt. The surface is smooth and I'm not quite sure if it's coated or not but for me in the last 3 weeks that I've used it, it hasn't worn out at all. So it still feels brand new for me in terms of glide. The experience with the pad is very smooth and it can be somewhat fast with small feet. For example with my Starlight 12 there isn't that much stopping power or static friction. But then again with the Outset AX that has large feet there is way more stopping power and it kind of feels like a counter strike mouse pad with this setup. It is consistent in my environment but the pad does suffer from humidity issues if you live in a humid environment. And even for me, if I just play with my hand touching the mouse pad and it's sweaty or moist and that transfers to the surface, it does feel quite slow. And my hand sort of also sticks to the mouse pad. Overall I do think that this is a surprisingly good mouse pad and I had to pay about 31 euros for it, so it's not that expensive and that included shipping as well. The pad is the most optimal for tracking if you use a small mouse that has small feet like for example a Starlight 12. And then again for precision and headshots it's the most optimal if you use something like the Zawi EC2 or the Vaxi Outset AX. You can also use a small lightweight mouse that has large feet that will also have more stopping power than the ones with small feet. For the keyboard, Saibu is using the K70 from Corsair and I do have to say that it's not the best keyboard I've tried. The quality and the typing experience is not great at all, but the thing is that it's still very good for gaming. And these professional gamers do not necessarily care about the typing experience. But I hope they improved the quality and the feel from two years ago. In addition to analyzing his gaming gear, I actually had the idea to use his in-game settings in DM myself. So I checked out what settings Saibu is using and he is using 400 dpi and 2 cents in CSGO. That seems to be 800 EDPI and I usually play at around 1400 so it's quite a bit of difference. So I loaded up aim but set my sensitivity to 2, set my mouse at 400 DPI and the end result <laughs> wasn't beautiful. To be fair it's not as bad as I thought but it's way way lower than I usually play with. So I did some static warm up first and then I went deathmatch. Initially I did struggle a lot by just turning around and aiming felt horrible but I was hitting some shots and my sprays and my one taps felt good 
good, but overall it felt super uncomfortable. After about 10 minutes my aim did get better, but I still struggled with the sense and how much I need to move my arm. And with the outset AX that has a paracord in it, I had this issue where the cable would get stuck under the mouse all the time. But that's of course only because I'm so lazy and I did not get set it up in a bungee. Overall I feel that this setup is quite optimal for a lower sense, the mousepad is very good for it, and although the outset AX is not the lightest mouse and definitely not the smallest one, it's still good for low or high sense in my opinion. With my own settings I of course enjoyed CSGO much more with this combo, I had no issues with any kind of leaks or precision or anything in CS. My tracking was also good in Kovacs, but not quite up to par what it usually is, but I haven't used this mousepad for very long. For the ratings then, I of course will give the outset AX a 5 out of 5, and the Corsair MM350 Vitality mousepad will get about 3 out of 5 from me. It is much better than the Navi mousepad that Simple is using. Lastly, the Corsair K70 gets about 1 or 2 out of 5, I will have to give it 1 out of 5 because the quality that I had previously with it was just so garbage. That's pretty much it for this one. If you enjoyed this video and didn't see the simple video I did earlier, check it right here. And check this video for one of my favorite ergo mice at the moment and keep in mind that I actually got sent a new unit that is fully fixed with all the quality issues. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.